Alright, so now it's time for the next set of races. First off, we have Knuckles' race in Egg Factory. But first, we got this little scene uh, where uh, Dan Green has to talk to himself. Also, it was Erica Schroeder for Waves of Swallows voice actress. And also Dean Bristow for, uh, for Eggman's former voice actor. May he rest in peace. This this egg robo gets a lot of crap. He gets hit by Knuckles, and then he gets hit by Storm. Now he's busted. Also, Storm just pulls off his arm. <laughs> Good job, Storm. So now it's time. Uh, this is the point where. Uh, in the hero story, you have to start winning first place because this is where you start racing against uh, other named characters. Uh, Storm the Albatross here. So anyway, Egg Factory has got a lot of fire. Well, molten metal, would you say? Lava? It's hot. I used to have the the timing for the starting line pretty consistently. I wouldn't say like, oh, I was top tier or whatever. No, I was like, I could usually figure out uh, figure out the timing. But uh, in this playthrough, I had a lot of trouble. Then again, it has been uh, quite some time. Uh, because oh, and uh, no, not here later. Uh, but. The last time I played Sonic Riders, there was this website called Game Anyone. Uh, it was a fun little website. I, I really like the search format of it, but it has unfortunately uh, uh, closed its site. Anyway, there was the 100 ring capsule. It's by those uh, things that hit you in the face. Uh, honestly, a little easy to miss considering uh, those can knock you off, off track. But anyway, uh, last time I played Sonic Riders was on the website Game Anyone, and uh, I did this Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, and uh, this was back in the point in time where I was just really sick of YouTube and all of its like shenanigans going on with uh, its content creators, because some of the people I uh, I'm subscribed to, uh, they were having issues with them, and I was just really annoyed with them. But, obviously, I'm back now, so it didn't mean much. But, yeah, last time I did it was that. I didn't commentate over that. It was purely a walkthrough. Which, uh, I still have an interest in doing walkthroughs. Also, this is the alternative path. Uh, as opposed to what I did lap one. You just drift, and there are some robots in your way. The benefit of being a power character is you can just smash right through them. And I think you gain air from them. Uh, but, yeah, so, I still have an interest in doing walkthroughs, I just don't know how I would go about that. Like, honestly, doing these side LPs is, uh, so far the closest to doing that, but it's also, uh, how to say this, more so just, it, these side LPs also just kind of take my attention away from uh, the main stuff, which is right now the Trails of Cold Steel uh, Let's Plays. But, you know, with my current situation as it is right now, uh, I can record these on the side. Uh, and by the side, I mean during times where I can't record uh, the Cold Steel game. So, it, it works out, really. Anyway, we finished first place pretty easily. Though this did take me a couple of attempts. Uh, some of these courses took me more attempts than others. Uh, I will say the next hero stage coming up uh, took me uh, an annoying amount of attempts. Anyway, so now we're cut back to Team Babylon because Storm is now reporting that he lost his race. Man, you really are worthless. <laughs> Boss, it wasn't 
And now he's going to try and deflect, saying that, oh, it wasn't, it wasn't my skills, it was, uh, he was cheating. The wave will put him in his place. Anyway, um, man, I'm just, I'm having flashbacks to all the, like, walkthroughs I did for game anyone. It was the only time I could actually record PS3 games, because... I currently don't have a way to record that because I have to get past the HDCP on that. Uh, but, you know, I've been told it's not a difficult process to do. Uh, I just, you know, need to actually uh, think about getting the, uh, the piece I need to actually uh, record. Because, while I... While I wouldn't say I have a lot of PS3 games I record, I do have a couple, like, you know, uh, the, the Sonic games on PS3, Unleashed, 06, and Generations. I know I could play them all on 360, but, uh, eh. Okay, so now we're playing a Storm, and we are trying to ditch Eggman's, uh, drones while we try to escape the Ice Factory. Now, a question I see roaming about is why is uh, why are we having to race for this for this information? What could have worked is if this was like one big track and we were just racing to the finish. Uh, but it also could just be you know Storm is just trying to lose them. If you want stages that took me a few attempts, this stage um, this stage took me a bit because. Um, the ice. The ice will throw you off. Even though you're on hoverboards. They will make you slip and slide around. And it's uh, it's not fun. Anyway, so uh, earlier there's a higher path I could have taken. Which would have led me to where these robots came out. And right there is the 100 ring capsule. But uh, I think you need to just either have really good drifting... Or just come to a complete stop. Which is uh, how I remember getting it all the time. So yeah, restarting stages. Uh, this this game I had to restart honestly a lot. Because I just, you know, want, I got a little perfectionistic. Team Babylon was way worse with uh, restarts than uh, Team Heroes, though. Still can't get that upper pass. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get it at some point. I say don't worry, this is already uh, recorded. And honestly, I'm glad I'm doing this post because otherwise the whole, like, commentating aspect... Oh boy, that would have that would have been... Uh, that would have been fun because uh, I consider this a game where I feel like I need to focus a lot in order to do well in. Anyway, that little shortcut we took, that's where the max air capsule is. So if you're wondering, uh, that is where. Uh, also, in terms of uh, mission mode, because this game does have uh, a mission mode, I have a... I'm pretty sure I've 100%ed this game. I've unlocked all the characters. I've got Super Sonic. Uh, I've got all stages. I've bought all the all the extreme gear. So I like unless there is something I'm missing. I'm pretty sure I've 100%ed this game. Anyway, so here's top path. It's nothing special. You know, the more I look at this, the more I kind of want to play Zero Gravity. Because the, while you don't really have, you know, the drifting, you have the, the gravity manipulation. And uh, that can be really fun. <laughs> it's funny. I, I got that feeling by, uh, while playing this, uh, while watching this, but also while playing Gravity Rush. Um, spoil, uh, spoilers, there may or may not be a Gravity Rush Let's Play. Uh, I'm currently working on one. But, ultimately, uh, at the end of the day, uh, I don't know. 
it could end up like a Bayonetta situation where I canceled it. Yeah, I tried to do a Bayonetta uh, Let's Play, and uh, that didn't that did not go too well. All right, so now it's time for the second half of this video, the other two races. Uh, so this is uh, this is where things start uh, changing up a little, uh, because in the past three races we've had speed, flying, and power characters pretty much racing uh, race after race. This one is a flying and speed character. By flying I mean tails, and by speed I mean jet. I know they're doing this just as a gag, but it's like, does Jet have like a fast forward button on Wave? <laughs> or does she just automatically go into fast forward mode whenever she's, uh, whenever she's, uh, exposiating? I think that's the word. Look at him sneak off. So you like Sonic doing that flip? Well, I hope you did, because we get to see it again! As soon as Wave walks off screen. Here we go. Oh, it's the semi-finals. Okay. Those techniques, and by that you mean spinning. Hey, Jet. We just saw you. Anyway, he's here to just kind of mock Sonic. I forget where I heard it, but I heard somewhere that uh, this is... Jet was kind of the first rival character to actively anger Sonic. I heard that somewhere, and I was just like... I thought Shadow did at some point, but I don't know. I could be wrong on that. I don't know my Sonic lore as well uh, as as I well probably shouldn't. I better be on my toes during this competition. I never imagined anyone would enter the race with such a piece of junk. Tails is still lamenting about that. Honestly, it's like, I don't know if he should let that bother him as much as he does, considering, you know, she's just kind of a stranger. Like, just imagine some guy coming up to you and saying your basketball skills suck. That's just like, and you were, like, pretty good on your own. It, I don't know. I do not know. All right, now, oh, well, now he gets his chance as payback because now he has to defeat Wave. And we are racing in Green Cave. Oh no, is that Cave or Cove? The font that they use for it is uh, eh, a little odd. Anyway, the closest you can actually get is quick zero zero. So, uh, zero seconds. That, I can get it a couple of times and I've done it in like previous attempts. Oh, and also the, uh, the hundred ring capsules. You'll want to take this flying path and jump down on this vine. And there you go. Uh, I forget where the max air is. But, uh, this stage took me a while. Mainly because I was having trouble collecting that hundred ring capsule. And... I think I could... No, uh, I guess it just depends, but... Sometimes the the hundred ring capsules aren't there second lap onward, uh, as we saw with uh, uh, Ice Factory, because it was definitely not there uh, on my second lap. Anyway, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but honestly, out of all of all of Sonic's racing games uh, that I've uh, sampled slash played uh I, was, I don't know maybe i it's because i grew up with this game but i definitely prefer riders 
because let's see, there's so, uh, there's Sonic Drift, which is uh, which I believe was the Game Gear games, uh, which uh, they were okay for what they were, uh, if I remember right. There was Sonic R for Saturn. That one, that one had uh, has potential, and I I kind of wish it. They could uh, try again with that one. I would like to see that. There's this game. Do we count Rivals? Is Rivals a racing game? I hate Rivals. I hate it so much. Um, there's Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, and then there's Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. Uh, I've played those a little, and all right. But I, I don't know. Maybe I'm stuck in the 90s or something. I hate that they say that because, like, you could only. Maybe I'm just not doing the jumps right, but you can really only get uh, a very low ranking uh, to get that uh, air ring. Anyway, so we have defeated Wave, so she is out of the competition. And so now we have to go uh, race as a jet so he can qualify for the finals. Because he does need to do that. And now we will be racing in White Cave or Cove. I think it's Cave. This one took me a while. Mainly because of the whole starting line thing that I mentioned. Like I got point zero three in that, but uh, I had a lot of trouble here. And I believe the 100 ring, if you race on the ceiling of that cave we just passed and fall, fall onto one of those tree roots, uh, those are where uh, those are where the 100 ring and I believe the max air is. Anyway, I hope you didn't like the main path because uh, I never take it. And I believe for the alternate path there, I believe it's just a drift. I just find it easier to just jump on the spider web. Which again, I think for these alternate routes, you need to hold down on the analog stick when you're charging your jump. Alright, level one. And this is lap two. Where is it lap three? Thanks to... Uh, so my method of recording older generation games isn't the best, but it's what I have right now. Uh, but it just kind of makes uh, small smaller text a little hard to see. I believe this looks like lap two. Uh, I'm really bad at this. Yeah, final lap. Here we go. That jump, uh, trying to get on that grind rail is honestly a little annoying. And here I uh, kind of remember how to get it, but I don't go after it because there's no point. I'm not going to... Right there, I'm at 100 rings. I was at level 2 uh, or level 3, which, whichever. Uh, I leveled up twice and I really didn't need the 100 ring capsule. And one and a two. And that'll do it for this part of Sonic Riders. I'll see you guys next time for the finale of the Grand Prix.